In this video, we'll talk about maceration. It is a feature of dead bone fetus. It is also known as aseptic autolysis. What do you mean by aseptic autolysis? So, aseptic indicates there will be no invasion by the microorganism. So, let us see what is happening here. The dead child is remaining within the uterus for the three to four days and surrounded by a layer of liquor amni. This is very important. The baby is surrounded by a layer of liquor amni with the exclusion of air. That means the air cannot pass in or pass out. Right? Whereas in case of putrefaction, because of the air, there will be decomposition, there will be invasion by the microorganisms and then leads to gas formation, which causes this bad order, right? But here, the air is not passing in because of the liquid amni. There will be no invasion by the microorganisms, therefore the name aseptic autolysis. That fetus here is soft, flaccid, with emission of sweetish, disagreeable smell, that means a light smell. No gases are formed, so there, there will be no false smell coming from the fetus. The internal organs undergo autolytic decomposition. Lungs and uterus remain unchanged for a long time. So what is happening at the different intervals of time? Let us see here. So within 12 hours, you can see slippage of skin from the face, abdomen and back. And then within 24 hours, you can see brownish or the purplish discoloration of skin. Within 36 hours, you can see cranial compression. Within 72 hours, desquamation over 75% of the body surface. Desquamation is nothing but peeling of skin and within 96 hours overlapping of cranial sutures can be seen and greater than one week the mouth is widely open so i have a mnemonic to remember everything so the first 12 to 24 hours the skin involvement will be there and in 36 hours cranial involvement will be there and in 72 hours again skin is involved in 96 hours cranial is involved in one week mouth is wide open so 12 22 skin 36 is cranial 72 again skin 96 is cranial one week is mouth Clearly, the fetus may also show adipocere formation. So, the differences between maceration and putrefaction is given below. So, maceration, no gases are released and it is an aseptic process, whereas putrefaction is a septic process. So, here the discoloration will be in brown and the purple color, whereas in the putrefaction, the discoloration is in green color. So, this is about maceration. Bye.